how could we really challenge our leadership team to step out of their comfort zone and actually um, really use that creative part of their brain but be entirely exposed and lead without words, which is something lawyers aren't very good at. So we're working with a selection of the senior management and they're taking master classes in conducting chamber orchestra. There are a lot of similarities between any core leadership skills and the role of the conductor in an orchestra. Connor and I were um, having a coffee and we both came up with this idea at the same time. It was really, really strange. It was like it flew in the window and landed on the table in front of us. The other part is something called grade one or bust and that's where a larger selection of staff in the office are taking on an instrument and they will take that instrument for one year and at the end they'll do the grade one examination. And whether or not they pass it is up to how much they practice. If they enter want to do this and to do it in a year I think they're bonkers. And to give them this instrument and tell them, okay, in one year's time you're going to do great one in this. You know, that it is quite a big ass. It opens their mind up to something completely different. And like I don't know where that's going to lead, but I have a suspicion it will lead to more creative space in their own mind. I think there will be an untold benefit to that. Business need is the big challenge. All of the participants are lawyers and some have been drawn from our business services team. Um, so everybody has their very specific day job, which brings with it deadlines, fitting the sessions in around the work, and then for the participants themselves, finding the additional time beyond that to go the extra mile and put in the rehearsal time and the practice time to really get what they want out of it. <laughs> could be terrible, could be, could be great, it <laughs> could be an undiscovered talent. As we've learned, it isn't. How I felt beforehand was very different to how I felt when I stood up in front of that chamber orchestra. It was a bit like one of those dreams where you uh, turn up to an exam and realise that you haven't been to any classes all year. I realised that they were only going to do what I told them and that if I didn't wave my baton in the right way and at the right time, they just stopped. That was truly terrifying. I joined uh, the company in October, so I'm quite new into the role. And what I find since I've come into HSF is that they're very involved in looking at innovative ways to think about leadership and think about how to take people certainly out of their comfort zone. Reality only hits when you see uh, everybody there with the, with the instruments and you're thinking, well, what exactly am I going to do here? What I took away from it was uh, trusting them. You have to trust your team and you can't be the expert on everything. No musical talent whatsoever. In fact, didn't like it at school, um, but mainly because when I, I first tried it, uh, I think that the teacher was quite harsh and didn't really encourage it. I did really go for it, but I think that was that's the only way I can do things. If, if you're not 120% committed, it's not going to be a success. My mindset was just to take as much out of it as I could. I think I was off on the day that they assigned the instruments, so I was assigned the flute. But I'm really happy that I was. It's really nice to have more connection with colleagues as well. If we're struggling a bit, we can help each other. and. It really gives a nicer flavour to the group and better communication with people who I might not otherwise work with. More and more we read and hear from our business members. People are looking for that experience beyond the nine to five. They're looking for just something a little bit different and that's where these collaborations can really work and are very effective. 
Connor McKillop's very good on the clarinet. Is he behind me? No. He did grade three at school and stuff, so I sort of had him in my sights as somebody that then I want to get to grade three or I want to like, you know, blow him out of the water. You remember more than you think. Yeah, it took um, a little bit of work just to get it set up and you know, get a few notes out of it. A bit of the reading the music comes back to you as well. We talked at the beginning about Intermezzo, the project. I don't think we really thought that that would develop in quite the way that it has. There's tons of real positives from it, and if we make glorious music at the end of it, so be it. The loveliest thing that came out of it actually was the support that we all gave each other. I felt really lucky to be working with such incredibly supportive, clever, kind and honest individuals. I think it's important in the workplace to understand that we are all human beings <laughs> and that we make those connections in that way. I think we all know each other a little bit better and I think that's important. <laughs>